Today's video is about distinguishing between the rapture and the second coming. The next event is the rapture, when Jesus Christ will return to gather his saints and take them to heaven. There are no events or signs that predict the rapture, Christ's return is imminent. Following the rapture, there will be seven years of globe tribulation, the last half of which will be the great tribulation. When the tribulation is completed, Jesus will return with his church and establish his kingdom and reign on earth for 1000 years. This return of Christ to earth after the tribulation is called the second coming. The rapture and second coming are two distinct events, which occur at two different places on the timeline of Bible prophecy. At the rapture, Jesus will return for his saints. At the second coming, he will return with his saints. At the rapture, Jesus will not descend to earth. At the second coming, he will descend to the Mount of Olives as a prelude to his earthly reign. At the rapture, Jesus will bring a blessing for his saints. At the second coming, he will bring judgment for those who have rejected him. The rapture could occur at any time. The second coming will occur seven years later. Although we don't have warning signs for the rapture, in Matthew chapter 24, Jesus gives us warning signs of the second coming. He makes it clear in Matthew chapter 24 verse 36, that, of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. We do not know the exact day and time of his coming, but we know his return is approaching as we see the six signs he mentions in Matthew chapter 24 gradually increase in intensity. These signs will ultimately be fulfilled in the seven-year tribulation, but we could see them increase in intensity even now. In 1 Thessalonians 4.16, Paul tells us, The Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. This is our warning for the rapture. So as we anticipate the rapture of the church and await the second coming, we should be growing in our walk with the Lord, sharing the gospel with those around us, and staying aware of what is occurring in our world. We know Christ's return for his church is imminent. No prophecies need to be fulfilled before the rapture occurs, and we should live in light of that truth each and every day.